What's up guys, it's AlecMac111 and today I have a super special review for you guys. This is the Tokimori PSG1 and as you can tell, it's kind of huge. It actually stands all the way up. Um, this thing has a 590 millimeter inner barrel. Yes, that's crazy. It's like 25 inches. I don't know the exact measurements, but it's basically crazy. So up here, we're going to start from the front. You have an orange chip. This is actually a metal barrel. For those of you that don't know much about Tokyo Marines, most of their guns are made of plastic. However, they do have some metal parts on them. Because they're made in Japan, they are not allowed to have specific parts that are metal, as well as they're not allowed to shoot over one jewel. So this thing is shooting very low feet per second wise. You get a nice plastic foregrip right here for a handguard. It would be considered for a lot of people, some people don't really like the plastic. They're like, oh, it's just really crappy. It doesn't feel good. It's not real metal. However, Tokimurui basically puts magic fairy pixie dust on their hop-ups and their guns shoot incredibly far, incredibly accurate. They're just some of the best guns on the market. Let's go ahead and show you this charging handle right here. So this is actually, the real gun is made by Heckler & Koch. As you can tell right here by the sweet trademarks, this is HK PSG1 and then has some numbers and some dashes as well as just the different trademarks and stuff. Hopefully that'll focus there for you guys. It's really, really cool. I, I think this gun's absolutely beautiful. I fell in love with it for a while. Finally, I had a chance to be able to pick one up. Picked one up for a fairly cheap price. They're about 520 new on eVike. However, they're on sale right now for I believe like 480 and then East Hobby Asia has them for I believe around 460. So the magazine is actually very, I think this whole thing holds like 20 rounds. I've been told it works with other G3 style magazines. I've not confirmed that yet as I do not have any other magazines. Unfortunately, I will be just looking into that very soon. Just go ahead and you can probably like search that easily. So up here with your favorite HK slap, MP5s have this. If you guys don't know what HK slap is, they love to have that little right there. Cool thing about this is it's actually an electric blowback. So you can see right here, when I pull this back, it actually releases that and then I can lock it and you can mess with your hop up as well as having an electric blowback. I will show you that feature later. Up top, you have a Tasco scope. You can see it's a little bit more bronze here. I really like that color. I little, really like that flare. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And it matches really well with this wood, beautiful wood grip down here, as well as the standard metal body. So this body actually is plastic. It feels pretty high quality. Those of you who are like, oh, that's actually, wow, that feels really nice. It kind of feels like metal. It's actually plastic. It even looks like it has a little bit sort of like that like metal texture up there. But I assure you, yes, it is plastic. It's very high quality. Tokyo Marie, you will never have a problem with it breaking. I guarantee you're gonna throw a JG, you're gonna throw a Simon, you're gonna throw one of those guns down, and it's gonna break way quicker than anything that is Tokyo Marie because Tokyo Marie stuff is built to last, and they're just made very, very well. On front of on the front of here, you actually have a sort of lens protector. You can go ahead and sort of just look and see that this is actually rubberized. The scope for mine is a little bit wobbly. It is a little older though. You have your adjustage for windage as well as elevation. Got some really cool trademarks right there. Pro Custom High Grade Scope Japan Tokyo Marui 4x40 PSG1 and then you have sort of like your uh, just rubber, I don't know exactly what these are considered, but it's really cool and it's just really nice. You go ahead and put your eyes down. It's got some great crosshair, it's just a normal crosshair. It's really cool they actually include this scope with the package, you don't have to get it separately. It has all the mounting stuff there, really cool. On the side, it's actually not ambidextrous. You have zero, which is indicating no, that it doesn't fire and that it's on safety and you have one. So this is only semi-automatic. This is a sniper rifle. It's designed to be a sniper rifle. You're not going to have full auto. The trigger is actually a very interesting design. As you can tell by this, it's really just kind of, kind of interesting. You see it's got like a kind of long trigger. I think it's really cool. I'm not super partial like, oh, but I know some people have said they're like, oh, it's just a little bit weird. Selector switch is great. You're not going to need full auto. This is like I said, you have 20 rounds. This is supposed to be a sniper rifle, designated marksman rifle. And this thing is incredibly accurate. One of the most accurate guns I've ever shot in my life. Very, very accurate. Tokyo Marui is very accurate general but this thing is even excels for a Tokyo Marui rifle which is insane so you got your little like shooter grip down here for those of you that's sort of like your resting bipod basically like those competition grade shooting or whatever guns or whatever well this is there just very like very solid grip it actually has texture in the grip you can see that it's kind of curved at different angles so it fits really well I have pretty big hands and it fits the grip is perfect you have three grooves for your fingers as well right along there as you can tell it's just very, very comfortable, very, very ergonomic, very, very comfortable. I usually use a Magpul MOE grip. It's about the same width-wise, I'd say, but it's just, it, it literally, it really does taper your hand. It kind of, you kind of get a cool little, this doesn't really look like wood, but this up here in the back kind of looks a little wood-like, pretty cool. Not something that's like super necessary. 
We're gonna go ahead and move to the back now. You can actually adjust this. This is an adjustable cheek riser. I have it at this position right now because I, I think that's a good position. You can go ahead if you wanted to, you can actually stick um, something inside here as well as in here and this messes with not only the stock but also the cheek riser and just loosens it and tightens it. So I have this a little bit loose already. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So I'm gonna put this on my foot. And then this is where your battery and stuff goes. So your battery and stuff goes actually in here. This stock's really good. This gun is actually very light. Obviously it's plastic, it's gonna be pretty light. I'll go ahead and show you guys the electric blowback. Your battery will sit in there. You're gonna have to get a fairly small battery. However, it's not a big deal if you get one of those small 7.4 LiPos. I don't run, really recommend running an 11.1 or anything over about a 25C discharge. Just because it's a Tokyo Murray, it's not meant to handle as much. I know it can, but I just, I would advise again, it. So we're going to go ahead and show you this electric blowback real quick. See, it's not a huge electric blowback. You can't fire this gun super quickly on some automatic, unfortunately, but it is a sniper. Like I said, you're not. My battery is fairly low too as well, so it's you kind of hear it like it's just not meant to be like a speed trigger like every other gun I have. It's meant to be fired in slower succession. You can still squeeze off shots fairly quickly, but it's just meant to be fired in a little bit uh, slower method. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I believe this gun is absolutely beautiful. You can actually pull the stock completely off if you want to twist it all the way around. But I, <laughs> this is probably one of the top sniper rifles I've ever been able to handle, ever been able to play with in my life. And I am absolutely in love with it. Thanks for watching this review of the Tokimori PSG-1. I will see you guys later.